Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and we're moving closer and closer to that release date of that upcoming iOS 6 jailbreak, and by upcoming, I do mean literally a few days upcoming, so we should have it very soon, but in the meantime, I decided to make a general update video to let you guys know what's happening and some of the smaller news. Now, if you guys didn't know, the team that is developing the iOS 6 jailbreak has decided to name themselves the Evaders, and they do now have an official website where you can check the progress of the iOS 6.1 jailbreak. See, as you can see right here, it's called evasion.com. The O is, instead of an O, it's a zero. And over here, you'll see a progress bar. I'm on an iPad, so I can't really see it. But you will see a progress bar. And at the moment, the status is that the Windows and Mac applications are finished. Right now is beta testing for all the devices to make sure the jailbreak does run smoothly for all of your devices. And yes, this will support any device capable of running iOS 6.1 except the Apple TV 3. Apple TV 2, of course, is included. And just a tweet from Pod2G, he did say, about evasion release, nothing is certain, can be Sunday after or before. So at the moment, we are just saying Sunday is an estimated time when the jailbreak will be released. It may be before or after, depending on how the beta testing goes. Guys, even if you do have to wait a day or two later, it'll be worth it, as long as you go through a very smooth jailbreak process. Now, a bit about the effects of this jailbreak will have. I mean, I want to talk about the past. I've noticed that a lot of people have been moved to buy Apple devices only because a jailbreak or an unlock was available for for it. I mean, it's just so simple. From Cydia, you can customize. You can do so much amazing things. And Pod2G did speculate that Apple sales for their latest devices may raise actually because of this jailbreak. And I 100% agree with him because in the past, I've seen it happen with many people. The only reason they bought a device was because a jailbreak was available and it boosted Apple sales. Apple may not even realize it, but jailbreaking is doing so much more good than harm to their company. They even took ideas from jailbreak developers and implemented it into iOS, calling it their own idea. For example, multitasking, it was available to jailbreakers long before it showed up in iOS, which Apple, of course, will never give credit to jailbreakers for. And many do suspect, of course, like me, that it does raise Apple sales in general. And another tweet from Pod2G, I wonder if the upcoming release of the Evaders tool will have a positive impact on the Apple stock. What do you guys think? And I definitely think that the stock will raise just a bit. I'm not really sure about that right away, but in the long run, I do believe it will. So that's it with a jailbreaking scene. You know, I'm really excited for this. I know you guys are really excited for this too. You waited so long and we will have it very soon. So of course, stay tuned. Make sure to check up on the Evasion website. You'll be able to get the updates there the fastest. And if you guys haven't, please, please, sign this. I mean, the petition to make unlocking legal once again, we're almost halfway there and I'm so happy that many of you guys did sign it. I give you my personal thank you. I mean, you took a minute of your time and signed it and I'm very thankful for that. Now, for those people that haven't, please do this. If you're in the US and you're over 18 years old or 18, go ahead and sign it. This will only do good in the long run. Also, if you have signed it, send it to many people. I mean, post it on Facebook, Twitter, do anything just to spread the word. We need to kick this guy's ass and get over 100,000 signatures. So thanks a lot, guys. Please, please do that. And anyways, so just wanted to update you guys on the latest news in the jailbreaking scene. It'll be out very soon. Thank you for being patient, guys. Peace.